All right, here we go. Today is January 8th, 2022. Today's topic is cleaning your karma following the effects from cause. Cleaning your karma following the effects from cause. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to do five definitions. Um, that's going to tie into everything that we're talking about. Again, January focus, cleaning your karma, following the effects from cause. Today is January 8th, 2022. <clears throat> Definition of cleaning. The action of making something clean, especially the inside of a house. The definition of redemption. The action of saving or being saved from sin, error, or evil. The action of regaining or gaining possession of something in exchange for payment or clearing a debt. I'll say with that one again. Definition of redemption. The action of saving or being saved from sin, error, or evil. The action of regaining or gaining possession of something in exchange for payment or clearing a debt. Definition of karma. Destiny or fate following as effect from cause destiny or fate following as effect from cause definition of effect a change which is a result or consequence of an action or other cause a change which is a result or consequence of an action or other cause definition of effect the definition, last one, the definition of cause, a person or a thing that gives rise to an action, phenomenon, or condition. A person or a thing that gives rise to an action, phenomenon, or condition. Let's start with the mind. Everything starts here. Um, I'm going to go with Sad Guru. I was looking at a lot of... Uh, Buddhist cross-referencing on this particular topic. Um, Jason, you don't want to start with Buddha? No, I'm going to start with Sad Guru. And uh, he stated, your current life is your current karma. Now, remember the definition of karma. Destiny or fate following it as effect from cause. A destiny or fate following as, a, as effect from cause so we're so we're still in the mind so we're alive to grow or to transform to a higher state than we arrived one of the main ways to do this is through the cleaning of your past karma energies uh, from your most recent ignorances and when you Basically, um, clean the past karma of your energies from your most recent ignorances. Change happens in the mind and body follows mama. Mama or mom, mind, M, over, O, matter, M, or mama. So again, um, one of the main ways to do this, do what? To transform to a higher state than you arrived is through the cleaning of your past karma or energies from your most recent ignorances. Change happens in the mind and body follows mama, mind over matter. Now, um, according to uh, David R. Hawkins of Quantum Mechanics, it was a, a kinesio logic response presented at a 1927 conference. And then we're going to go deeper into that um, in the Q&A. But um, what you hold in the mind tends to manifest. So letting go of the yang and dealing with the allowing principle of the yin, desiring who, what, and how you want to become. Desiring who, what, and how you want to become or you want to become. Then letting go of desiring or controlling the outcome of it. 
and start just allowing it to happen. Yin is complete surrender to flow or the creator of flow. <laughs> Staying away from the linear ego of the yang principle. Okay? Let's look at duality. Because again, everything at least has two sides. Talking point. Here we go. Malcolm X's name in the streets was Dirty Red. His name in prison was Satan. His name was then changed to Malcolm X after getting out of prison in 1952. His name changed once more to El Haj Malik El Shabazz. The more righteous his names became meant nothing to the past karmas that came with his former names due to karma due to the karma of the, the karmas of the former names. However, I do believe he was clean in his heart from any so-called mistakes. That any side, because there's so many sides to this, I had to study so many sides. No matter what you want to say, I feel like he was clean in his heart. Which is a different conversation of what you think he did, what you think he didn't did. There's so many different I'm talking about, I think he was trying to clean his heart. Okay. Let's look at the law of rhythm, controlling the highs and lows of life. Even when you can't, because there's times when you can't. Um, your destiny is intertwined with your past, present karmas. I didn't say future, even though the future is kind of connected to this too. Let's just stay with the past and present karmas. So again, your destiny is intertwined with the past and present karmas. Even again, even though it's tied to the future, let's just stick with the past and present right now. Now, your inner family's karmas is intertwined with your past and present and future karmas too. Your outer family's karmas and anyone and everyone you allow in your networks. Yeah, we can be friends. Yeah. I've been trying to do stuff with you for years. And right when I'm like, nah, I don't want to deal with you anymore. And you want to do stuff. You're intertwined with just the people you came into this world with. But people you say, yeah, you can come into my world. Yeah, you can bring all your karma of not only you, but your people you let in your world and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, bring that over into my life. Bring that all over here. And, and bring it to my networks too. It will be challenging now because again, some people, some of y'all are going to be like, oh, yeah, I ain't going to let nobody around me stop with that because there's no way you're going to deplete centuries or even thousands of years of karma. You're just not going to deplete it. So stop acting like you're just going to pick the right people. People are going to vibrate to you. But again, that has nothing to do with their karma. Y'all might be vibrating on the same station. That has nothing to do with the karma that they're going to be bringing. <laughs> the vibration level is just the connection of the, oh, you at level here? Yeah, I'm at level here too. Here, This is all the karma I got coming with me. Okay. So again, it will be very challenging to deplete centuries or even thousands of years of karma. But once you begin your karma cleanse, karma cleanse, by cleaning your heart and mind in a way that gives, shows, and updates universal results. So you get results universally. Or at least the balanced results you desire and need. For best manifestations. So. Let's look at this from a vibrational standpoint. Law of vibration. The higher we vibrate. The more powerful. Our cleaning utensils get. Just like when the lower we vibrate. The weaker our tools become. Cleaning tools. Cleaning utensils. Kind of like imagine cutting a football field. With a double bladed face razor. Versus several professional lawnmowers. I'll say that again. The higher we vibrate, the more powerful our cleaning utensils get. Just like when the lower we vibrate, the weaker our tools become. Imagine cutting a football field. 
our football fields with the double bladed face razor versus several professional lawnmowers. Law of cause and effect. We made it happen in some way. <laughs> we made it happen. Is there really wisdom without experience? According to many Indian yogis that say um, you are not only dealing with the karma of this lifetime, you are still dealing with karmas of your former lifetimes. They call it Sanchit karma. This works for people who uh, even look at me like, you know, Jason, now you talk about spooky stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, this is kind of spooky. Keep going, y'all, but I'm looking at y'all like this. <laughs> and they kept going and, and they helped me to view it this way. Or one of the ways. <clears throat> the old you in high school, the old you in college, the old you in your 20s, the old you in your 30s, the old you in your 40s, the old you in your 50s will affect your life if you make it to your 60s. I'll say this again. The old you energy in high school the old you energy in college, the old you energy in your 20s, the old you energy in your 30s, the old you energy in your 40s, the old you energy in your 50s will affect your life if you make it to your 60s. Cause and effect. Often, but not all the time, so I want to say again, because in this day and age, people are just looking to Find something to disagree and be offended about. Often, but not all the time, when a person fulfills a prison term, they are supposed to be vindicated of the wrongdoing. You served your time. So you are freer to move around to a certain extent in, in, in general public, right? That time served doesn't always mean change happens. In prison, you can say, when you get out, you will join my game. Or I will join your game when I get out. <laughs> or when I get out, you will work for me in the next so-called crime. Or when I get out, I will work for you in the next so-called crime. Just because a prison term was served doesn't mean change happened. Cause and effect. To best clean all karmas, from past lives or so-called past lives, because again, let's let's eat the meat, spit out the bone, let's eat the stem, spit out the the, the plant. <laughs> I mean, the the you know, you see what I'm playing. I'm I see what you're talking about. Um, if you don't believe in this, okay, whatever. Just see if it makes sense moving forward to convert them to your way of thinking. So sometimes you don't have to listen to it to not listen to it. Listen to it to bring them back to you. <laughs> the best way to clean all karmas from past lives or so-called past lives is to clean your heart and cleanse your mind here we go of heart ignorances and mind ignorances now we know the mind ignorances ask people what are your heart ignorances see what they say now again maybe if they see the video they'll have a comeback to write about, but you see what I'm saying? Mind ignorance, your mind, your mind, your mind. What are you ignorant of from a heart standpoint? Now, this will gradually counterbalance any and all karma so-called owed to you. Another experienced yogi um, that we're going to talk about in this Q&A said that just like the fog destroyed by the sun so you know in the morning you know super early in the morning in certain uh, states and cities um it's a lot of fog in the morning at certain times of the year and then when the sun comes out um the fog is gone similarly all the negative karmas of past lives will be burned away with enlightenment here and here here and here Enlightenment here, enlightenment here. As a man thinking in this. So. Just like the fog is destroyed by the sun. 
All negative karmas of past lives will be burned away with enlightenment, which is your inner light that causes you to shine. Sen? Getting better in your heart and mind daily is one of the best actions that can take I say that's I'll say that's probably one of the best. I was gonna say another one, but yeah, that's one of the best actions you can take. So getting better in your heart and mind is one of the best actions that you can take. And one blessing, one blessing is change or upgrade in your current perception and comprehension of perception. Jason, what you talk about? A blessing of perception. If you decided to have $1 million cash, so you get a choice, $1 million cash. No, 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 let's make it $100 million cash, okay? $100 million cash. Or the instant perception of how to make $1 million cash every day. Nope. The instant perception of how to make $100 million cash every day. For the sake of the contextual um, um, flow of this analogy because some people philosophically well, get out of here for the context of this conversation would you take a hundred million dollars cash one time or the instant perception of how to make one hundred million dollars cash every day how many people would still take that buddy Okay, let's stay with cause and effect. Levels of karma are nothing more than levels of cause and effect. I'm gonna say it again. Levels of karma are nothing more than levels of cause and effect. Many people believe karma is a punishment. It's not, it's literally just cause and effect. How does karma, how does a karma cleanse or a cause and effect cleanse work? I'll give you a few examples. I'll give you four. Let's go with four. Number one, because again, I said a karma cleanse or a cause and effect cleanse. Number one, showing compassion, doing good deeds, paying it forward to truly less fortunate people that are your current temporary or long-term assignments. So I'll say it again, showing compassion, doing good deeds, paying it forward to truly less fortunate people that are your current temporary or long-term assignments. And y'all know people who are your assignments. Number two, stop making excuses. Peel back the many layers of accountability not doing unto others how they do unto you. Always take the best road. Three, monitor your thoughts. The less you think a certain way, certain way, the less that unwanted certain reality outcome won't manifest. Number four, I'll give you four. Number four, learn to forgive the best way. Jason, what are you talking about? You haven't forgiven you haven't forgiven so and so. And you haven't did this. And you haven't do this. You haven't did this. This is Jason. Learn to forgive the best way. Here go everybody else. Uh-uh. You haven't forgiven me. For da -da -da -da. Jason. Learn to forgive the best way. Now uh Jason, because I'm at a time in my life where I'm happy and da 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 da, -da so I'm looking down on all of y'all. And I'm telling y'all the best way to forgive. And do you forgive like that? Hell no. Nah. But the best way for y'all to forgive. and Jason says, learn to forgive the best way. Since everyone seems to be an expert on the definition of forgiveness. Ask 10 people what forgiveness is. And you will probably get 10 different responses. Everybody's a forgiveness guru. All right, two more. 
Wild correspondence. Straighten your path. Your straight, your straight path cleaning tools of the heart and mind are your zone cleaning tools of your heart and mind are stronger and better than your off your path cleaning tools of your heart and mind are you being in the rut cleaning tools of your heart and mind. And then when you make it past that, what are we cleaning again? We're cleaning our heart and mind. How do we do that? Some of your best cleaning tools are best actions that we went over. We went over four. Okay? Last but not least, the law of gender. How does this affect the group? Because we know you need at least two. If you're listening to my words right now, if you're hearing my words right now, <laughs> your mother and father had you. Okay, so let's just start from that group right now. I'm not talking about any other group, but just your mother and father. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to identify with, this is not, they're not being judged. I'm just talking about just the science and the birth certificate signings of your, and the science of just your mother and father. Okay, you came from your father and mother's karma initially. Have you spent years and decades interviewing your parents about the many generational curses that were holding your family back? Like an investigator that is fishing for information in hopes of solving a crime? Do you know what to clean? Do you know how to clean? Do you know what cleaning method worked best for your family and ancestors? If not, don't fret. If you are a compatible client, it's done. We got you. I want you to stick around for this Q&A. Um, if you're not a compatible client, um, then I am sending you positive energy to be in the presence of your target crowd one day. All right? All right. So I want you all to hit me with the email if you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one, uh, consulting session. Um, my email is that we're using for this because this is for what the winter circle. So WC for winter circle world seven at gmail.com WC for winter circle world seven. When I say seven, don't spell it out. The number seven. So WC and then spell the world W O R I. I mean, I said W O R L D. And then the uh, number seven. Don't spell out seven. It's just the number seven at gmail.com. One last time for the people in the back. W C world, the number seven at gmail.com. If you're serious, let's work. If you're not, 